Hi golfers and welcome to my golf hallway as usual. And today I want to talk to you about hinging and where in the swing to hinge the club. And I feel like there has been a lot of discussion about hinging, what's the correct type of hinge. And there has been a lot of, you know, negative notion towards the hinge because people are like, oh my gosh, the coaches are teaching me the hinge a lot. And this is just, it's not natural, this and that. And I hear you, there's players out there that have more hinge and there's players out there that have less hinge, but let's dive into why the hinge matters and what is it actually there for, right? Essentially, the hinge is there to make your motion more efficient, to get the club to the top of the backswing as fast as possible and as efficient as possible. So, and I wanna start with the grip and how people that have struggled over years that aren't able to really hinge the club well, it usually is due to a bad grip. And when I say bad grip, I mean a palmy grip. So people having their club very much in the palm of their hand like this versus in their fingers. So there's a grip video that I'm gonna link below for you guys, but we're gonna quickly go over this. You wanna make sure that you have your grip more towards your fingers in both hands. So you don't wanna have them down here in your palm. You wanna have it kind of from the bottom of your pinky finger to the top of your index finger pretty much in both hands but mainly in the left hand here you really see it it has like it starts right here and it lays across my fingers and then i close my hand i want to see two knuckles on my left hand my lead hand depending on if you're lefty or righty and then the right hand is very similar and you will also want to make sure that these two are friends these two are connected we don't want to make sure that these are apart see how here they wouldn't be touching we want to make sure that they're together same here you just match your lifeline on your right hand your trail hand to your other hand and then you also make sure that these two are friends and it's okay if they if the finger here separates a little bit see for me it actually separates a little bit and i like that it seems like i have more control uh, further down the grip i like that so what happens when you have a palmy grip and how does it affect your hinge this is how when you have a palmy grip our wrists are designed to hinge certain ways just by how we're built so the wrist can hinge this way right and it can also hinge sideways but there really isn't a whole other way to hinge your wrist. So we gotta make sure that we optimize these options that we have in our wrist in our backswing. Now, if you have a very palmy grip, what happens, your right hand is usually pretty far under the club or at least on the side of it. So in your right hand, it's, it gives a lot of tension. It gives a lot of tension in your setup and also in your takeaway. And basically there's a lot of roll usually because that right arm or the trail arm is pretty strong. And when you roll, if I open my, palm you can see it's facing up so now you're trying to lift the club at this point right here your only way if we now wanted to get the club to the top of the backswing what would we have to do because i'm i'm gonna try to hinge my wrist now with this palmy grip with my face uh, my palm facing up this is really as far as i can get it right like naturally and my face is obviously dead open by the way p.s <laughs> But this hinge, and it's all very, see how tight my right arm is? See how I'm like trying to flex it and lift it? And this is not efficient, right? And if we were, if we had our right hand more on top right here, see what we could do is we could actually hinge. See how much further I can get my club up now? And now all that's left to do is turn. You're done, you're at the top of your backswing. So we make it a lot harder on ourselves by having a bad grip, which causes us not to be able to hinge naturally because really, if you have a good grip, you don't have to do all this lifting work right here. And nobody wants to lift the club to the top. I'm sure you've heard that term. And if your coach has told you that you're lifting the club, that's probably not so great, but it comes back to the grip. It comes back to the connection point between your hands and the club. So make sure your grip is correct. And again, I'm gonna show you this with a correct grip. Now I'm really kind of swinging the club back. There's not a whole lot of tension at all. This is just gravity. And then if I start swinging a bit more, see how the club just naturally starts hinging and naturally starts swinging to the top without me doing much, right? I haven't turned my shoulders at all, like not at all, but not much, right? This is all just, this is all just pendulum motion and see how nicely the club goes to the top. And this is a swing, guys. This is a swing, right? The other thing isn't a swing. The other thing is just a lift and just a lot of work, <laughs> which nobody needs. Again, I'm gripping it in the palm now. I'm gripping it wrong again. Tension, again, you can see that tension. My arms, nobody wants that much tension. And here, it's very difficult for me to hinge. Where I could hinge is back. I could hinge into this wall if I really wanted to. Oops. I could hinge backwards because that's how my wrists are made. But we know we don't have to go backwards. We got to go up. So this is very difficult. This is not a swing. How, how are you going to swing here? This is just tight, 
and it kind of feels like a, an ax or a hammer. I mean, I'm not very handy around the house. My husband has to fix all these walls, but um, this with a proper grip, how that can change your swing and how it can actually make it a swing is shocking. So make sure that you check your grip. Again, I'm gonna link the grip video below for you to check out. And this is gonna make a huge difference in your swing. It's gonna take a ton of tension out and it's just gonna make it so much easier and actually allow you to swing the golf club. Thank you.